Okay, next up, um, we want to find the derivative of y in the case y is equal to ln sine x. And so we know that the derivative of t, if t is equal to ln u and u is a function of x, is going to be equal to 1 over u multiplied by the derivative of that function of u. And so if we apply that here, we will get that dy over dx is going to be 1 over sine x multiplied by the derivative of sine x. We already know that the derivative of sine x is cos x, as we found earlier. And so this will just be equal to 1 over sine x by cos x. And you can rewrite this as cotangent of x because it is cos x over sine x, which you can think of as 1 over tan x since tan x is sine x over cos x. And this is the inverted version of that. And so when you plot that, you'll get this um, graph, and that's going to be it for this question. And so the red is the derivative of our function, so cotangent x, and the blue is um, our function. That's going to be it for this one. Okay, and then um, lastly, we want to use the chain rule to find the indicated partial derivatives. And so the chain rule just states that dz of ds in the scenario that z is a function of x and y, and x is a function of st, y is a function of st. Then noted to find the derivative of z with respect to s, it will be equal to the derivative of z with respect to x multiplied by the derivative of x with respect to s, plus you do the same thing for the y component. And so if, like if it was x, y, z, then you'd also have dz over dz, sorry, dz over dz plus dz over ds if z was also a factor here. And so, with our function, we have that z is equal to x to the power of 4 plus x squared y. x is equal to s plus 2t minus u. And y is equal to s t u squared. And we're trying to find the derivative of z with respect to s evaluated at s is equal to 4, t is equal to 2, and u is equal to 1. So first off, let's um, start off by finding what our x value is going to be at this point, And that is going to be 4 plus 2 by 2 minus 1. That's going to give us 7. So x is going to be 7 at this point. And for y, it's going to be 4 by 2 by 1 squared. That's going to be 8. Next up, we want to find the derivative of z with respect to um, x first. And that's going to be 4x cubed plus 2xy. The derivative with respect to y is going to be um, simply x squared, because this is y to the power of 1. So the 1 will drop to multiply by the x squared, leaving a 0. So this is going to be it for this one. The derivative of, sorry, and so now we're going to want to evaluate this at various points. So dz over dx at um, x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 8 is going to be 4 by 7 cubed plus 2 by 7 by 8. And so that's going to be 1484. dz over dy <clears throat> evaluated at the same point, so 7, 8, is going to be 7 squared, and that's going to give us 49. Now I want to deal with my 
dx terms. So dx over ds is going to be 1, because the power of 1 will just drop, and there's no other um, variable, including the s. dx over dt is just going to give me 2. dx over du is just going to give me minus 1 dy over ds is going to give me t u squared, evaluated at um, the point I want, which is t is equal to 2 and u is equal to 1, will be equal to 2. dy over dt is simply going to be s u squared, evaluated at s is equal to 4 and u is equal to 1. This will give me 4. dy over du is going to give me 2 s t evaluated at um, s is equal to 4 and t is equal to 2. This will be 2 by 4 by 2, and that's going to give me 16. Okay, now I'm just going to write out the individual formulas for everything that we're looking for based off of the chain rule. And that just states that dz over ds is equal to dz over dx by dx over ds plus dz over dy by dy over ds. And so if you want to evaluate it at the points given, we're just going to evaluate all of these at the points given. And so dz over dx at the points that they want, we found it earlier, is going to be 1484. So 1484 multiplied by dx over ds evaluated at that point, so that's going to be 1, plus dz over dy evaluated at that point. We also found that to be 49. Multiplied by dy over ds evaluated at that point, and that's going to be 2. This is going to give us a final answer of... our first part, so A. Next up, if you want dz over dt, it's going to be dz over dx by dx over dt plus dz over dy by dy over dt. This is going to be 1484 multiplied by, let's look for dx over dt, that's 2, plus dz over dy, which is 14, 49, sorry, multiplied by dy over dt, and we found that to be 4. So this is going to give us 3,164. This is going to be b. And then let's look for, lastly, dz over du. And that will be dz over dx multiplied by dx over du plus dz over dy multiplied by dy over du evaluated at the requested point. We'll just evaluate all of these partial derivatives at that requested point. And so dz over dx at that point we found is 1484. dx over du at that point we found is negative 1. dz over dy at that point is still the same, 49. And dy over du at that point is 16. And so putting that all together, we will get an answer of negative 700. And this will be the answer to the third part. And that's going to be it for this question. Okay, and 
those are all the questions I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's stream. If you'd like to be notified of when we post um, more questions, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it. If you would like to be able to post your own questions that can be answered on the live streams, be sure to check out the links in the description. This has been Marlon from One Class, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you.